kind of wanted to see if I could de-escalate the situation by walking up and saying, hey, what's up, buddy? Why do you guys keep following us? And that's when he pulled the knife out with his, um, with his uh, right hand and came around and stabbed me in the back. I ended up calling 911 myself, and she said, yes, sir, there's an ambulance on the way. We're trying to get to the scene. The police has to clear it out and make a perimeter before that they can come in. And I just said, can you guys please hurry? Because I'm worried that I'm going to die out here. Thinking about that it makes me a little more emotional thinking about that because as for that point in time that I, re I really thought in the back of my head that I'm not going to see my parents ever again at this moment, and that my mom's going to wake up seeing this on the news and be dying. Amid the Portland protests, violent altercations with federal agents as well as among activists. Police charging Blake Hampy with felony assault and unlawful use of a weapon for allegedly stabbing a man at a Portland Black Lives Matter protest early Saturday morning. The victim, videographer Drew Duncan. I've been dogs previously before going out there. And so we were already kind of on alert of watching people who are following us. The thing about people filming out there is they don't want anyone filming people's faces. So if you're out there filming, you're at risk. Bernal Trammell was shot and killed outside his office on Thursday. Friends calling the homicide politically charged, saying he was well known for supporting the Black Lives Matter movement and the re-election of President Trump. What's really going on out here is that you have active terrorism being deployed upon the city of Portland. And it's by these anarchist groups where however they want to identify themselves as that when they dress in all black and come out here to terrorize and terrorize the feds and attack the feds or attack innocent people who are out there with opposing views of theirs. This is they claim that they're out here fighting for Black Lives Matter, but it's not the case as we see across the country. When you look at David Dorn, you look at Horace Anderson Jr., you look at Barnell Trammell, who's all been killed um, by these so-called peaceful demonstrations. This is no longer about Black lives and people need to wake up.